Good morning and welcome to this latest Lenten art meditation reflecting on some brilliant work selected by the ever wonderful sister Wendy Beckett. Uh, and just so you know, today is a pre-recorded Lenten art meditation. Unfortunately, I have some pre-existing commitments. This week's theme is joy. And today's image concerns the matter of embracing joy. This is a new image for me, created by the artist Margaret Neve in 1994, and it's called By Moonlight. And though this isn't the, the, the best rendering of this work of art, I still think it's possible for us to appreciate there's quite a lot going on. This is a woman on the seashore. The moon looms large. All sorts of meanings might be attached to this. She seems to be wearing a night dress. Is she in a trance? What I love in this image is its sense of danger and precariousness. Here is a woman on the edge of the water's will. She fall and yet she seems to step out with such open confidence. She receives whatever the night has to offer. She will not tumble. Sister Wendy writes this. We surrender to joy. We have no option. Margaret Neve's girl dances in the moonlight, resting upon the silky air as the great moon rests on the soft waters. She throws her arms out wide as if to float backwards, held up by pure joy. This gesture of embrace, opening as widely and welcomingly as is possible, marks the experience. Joy is felt as profoundly right as what ought to be. I suspect there are few of us, even in these times of trial, who do not instinctively know that fact about joy, that it is experienced as profoundly right. And I want to go further and say it is something which we know in and through our bodies. We do not need to be a dancer to know joy in the body. The Christian tradition has so often treated bodies with suspicion. But this work of art, insofar as it captures joy, reminds us to dare. To dare to embrace joy, to receive its ministrations through the line of the body. Sister Wendy adds, In grief... Part of the pain comes from our feeling that we should not suffer so, that it is fundamentally alien to our being. This even though we all suffer, and frequently. Yet we reject suffering as a basic human truth, while greeting joy as integral to our very substance. I'll have to meditate on what Sister Wendy says there. Suffering, I think, is part of what it is to be human. But in the world in which we live, we mustn't lose sight of the way in which we are called by the living God to joy. Thank you 
once again for joining me for this very short but hopefully rich Lenten art meditation. I do hope, goodness me, I couldn't say meditation then. This very short Lenten art meditation. I do hope that you are able to join me once again tomorrow for our next Lenten med meditation. Again, I'm struggling with that word today. And um, should you wish, you can go back over previous uh, meditations by simply going through the, the gallery here on my YouTube channel. Until we meet again, may you have a blessed, hopeful and holy day. And may you know the joy of the dancer. <laughs>